Hello everyone, this is Nick from WP Google Maps. The purpose of this video is to inform everyone of an important update to our plugin. A recent announcement has been made by Google Geo developers whereby Google Maps no longer supports keyless access to the API and all API calls must now contain an API key. So what does this mean for you? All new and existing users of WP Google Maps will now have to register on the Google API console in order to get a Google Maps JavaScript API key. In the past, Google Maps allowed you to display a map without an API key, but unfortunately from now, this will not be possible. There are no costs involved with creating an API key. However, as it has been in the past, you will be limited to 25,000 map requests per day. And for 99.9% .9 of you, this shouldn't be an issue at all. In order to create an API key, simply click on the link below this video and follow these steps. Okay. In order to create a API key, you need to click on the Google Maps JavaScript API link. Once there, you need to create a project if you haven't got one already. Give it a name. Once your project has been created, you need to make sure that the enable button is blue, which means it is enabled. Then you need to go to credentials on the left create you're going to need to create a browser key you can name it anything you like once the page loads uh, the most important thing to take note of here is the domain name field you can leave it blank although this would mean that anyone with your api key would be able to use it on their domain so what i would suggest is you're putting your domain in there using the wildcards if necessary and preferably in the same format that we've set it up here Once the API key shows up, simply copy it, go to the map section of WP Admin and paste it into this field. Now your maps will start showing up, but if you are a pro user and you do make use of the directions functionality, you will need to also enable the directions API. Once you're at this page again, click the more button, find the Google Maps directions API link and ensure that it is enabled with the button at the top.